We have a bonus question at the end of this video, so watch it till the end. Today, we will be solving for x, given the root of x, plus the root of negative x equals 2. Now, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? How can we find a number whose both the positive and the negative part can lie inside a square root, right? Because if we need the real solution for x, the value inside this square root must be positive. So, x must be greater than or equal to 0. But at the same time, negative x must also be greater than or equal to 0, which means x must be less than or equal to 0. What is this nonsense? This leaves us with only one possible value of x, which is x equals 0. But clearly, x equals 0 does not satisfy this equation. So, no real solution exists for x. What do we do now? Is the video over? No, not yet. We still have another world to explore, the complex world. And this is how you can solve for x in the complex world. Let us call this root of x as y, or x equals y square. So, root of negative x equals the root of negative y square, or root of negative 1 times y square. This will give i times this will become y's, where we know that i equals root minus 1. Thus we have y plus i, y equals 2. Take y as common to get y times 1 plus i equals 2. Thus y equals 2 over 1 plus i. Now let us multiply and divide both sides by 1 minus i. Using this difference of squares formula, the denominator will become 1 square minus the i square. i square equals minus 1. So, the denominator equals 2. Thus, both these will be cancelled out, and y equals 1 minus i. Now, x equals y square or this square. Expand it to get 1 square plus i square minus 2i. This will become negative 1, and we'll cancel out with 1, and we get x equals minus 2i. Now, if negative 2i is the solution, this means positive 2i can also be a solution, because this thing seems interchangeable. And that's it. Wolfram Alpha also confirms the same. Now, as a bonus, let us solve for the log of x plus the log of negative x equals 0. We all know that anything inside the logarithm must be greater than zero, so x must be greater than zero. But at the same time, negative x must also be greater than zero. Again, as you can see, we cannot have any real solution for x. Complex world, please save us. Okay, using this property of logarithm, we get this as log of x times negative x, or log of minus x squared, and this equals 0. But we know that log of 1 equals 0, and thus minus x square equals 1, or x square equals minus 1. And we definitely know this one. We have x equals plus minus i, and Wolfram Alpha also confirms the same. That was simply amazing. If you like it, please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. So good.